Hi friends, Robert Frost said, two roads diverged in the wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. In our lives, we always have the choice to be, come ourselves, or to become an constructed, a constructed ideal that society puts in front of us. There is naturally stories about the paths that one should take in our society, and most people take those paths. But the difference in our lives, the fulfillment, the quality, the adventure comes from taking your own route, making your own path, beating your own trail. There is only, you only have one life, don't lose someone else's. Um, and that can be easier said than done. How do we find our own path, our own unique path? Well, you know, of course we will have idols and role models, but we have to pick them carefully. We don't, we shouldn't pick them because they're famous or other people look up to them. We should pick them because they're like us. And then we should notice how they're different from us and how our path is still so unique. And yet we must always remember that we're human beings and we're all capable of similar things. There is no reason to believe that there is truly anything that divides you and me and anybody else. We're human beings and so looking for difference all the time looking for what, why we're like that. I think trying to explain all the time why we're different can be counterproductive. We must understand that we are human beings first before we are any unique individuals. And we are unique, but first we're human beings. And when we accept that, that fact, we notice that there is this bond that connects us millions, billions of years of evolution has brought us here as one species. We all share so much in common. It's easy to forget that. And as much as we share, because our brains are so complex, I say this a lot, our brains are the most complex thing in the universe that we know of. And there's so much room for individuality so every one of us is an individual and society tries to tell us that we should be normal we should be average we should fit in and our, the paradigm of our science is a paradigm of average and so we have to be very conscious of that fact and how we can work against it so that we can bring out our own uniqueness because when we work, truly work to our strengths, truly serve the world from our unique vantage point, then we're all capable of amazing things. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. There's a balance here between realizing that we're human beings and that we have so much in common and pursuing our own individuality and being unafraid to be weird, to be different, having the courage to stand out. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.